really just, I kind of hope they stay where we found them yesterday. Maybe reloaded on that point. Be able to go out and try to find them where we found them yesterday. I don't know. It's going to be a grind. For sure. What time did y'all get down here? 20 minutes ago. Oh. Something like that. Because I, I accidentally woke up a little late. Kind of got up at 4.30. A little... A little behind schedule. Hey, excuse me, I've got to wipe the boat down. I'm the official, I'm the official boat wiper. 20 years of being a professional bass fisherman and get that boat wiped down. Win, we'll winning, we'll winning tournaments. This is what it gets you. I'm just a helper this week, but actually, it feels good. That's good. No, <laughs> no, no, uh, no major stress. Just gonna have fun today. 170 boats in this tournament. 170, yeah. a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. And they're all Florida fishermen, so they're all like very much aware with what we're doing here. Yeah, they got a bunch of little hammers here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Little hammers. So I'm excited. But check out what we got right here. Uh oh. Hey, check out what we got. Do we like this? <laughs> what is it? What is that? It's called a bubble gum fluke. What? And this the bubble gum trick worm. It's an inside joke, but yeah. No no that you throw that uh, they'll they'll bite it. Maybe. Don't bite yeah. It. Honestly, yeah, probably. Yeah. You're kind of digging this hole like I'm. I'm your. I'm the caddy. I'm your bass caddy. You're my chauffeur. I am. Your <laughs> bass coach. I like it. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm excited. Uh, it's kind of like a new chapter in in, uh, in my life, which is awesome. You know, Hillary's just totally ate up with fishing and the tournament side of things, and now. With this whole high school thing starting, uh, it, I'm just, this is cool. This is just really cool. You know, it, I'm gonna have to sit in the boat today and I can't I can't help, I can't run the trolling motor, I can't do anything other than just literally be there for support and to drive the boat. But, you know, we, we practiced for a few hours yesterday and we found a few areas, you know, but it's not what it's about. I mean, we wanna win, obviously, but I want Hillary to have a good time today. Rafe's her fishing partner. You know, they fish well together and uh, it's just, get on it, man. Get on it! Dad being in the boat is really, really interesting. Um, I know it's it's gonna be kind of hard for him because he's not gonna be able to fish. But yeah, he's just gonna be sitting there probably munching on some grapes. It's gonna be fun. Are you calling me fat? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you need to be on a the diet, truth. Dad. The 5.30 in the morning truth. I'm kidding. I, I, do, I am on a diet and I do no, need to be on a diet. It's a you're fine. You look great. <laughs> you look great. I haven't ex fully exhaled in a month, okay? You, you look great. I can't fully exhale. Yeah. Uh, kinda needs some grapes to struggle. Alright, ready. We are boat 35 and uh we're ready. You yeah, ready? We're ready. Doing it 250, five bass limit, 12 inch minimum. Let's, Let's go, go. catch them. Alright, we're getting ready to blast off guys. You guys uh got little butterflies yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Right. Right. I've got butterflies too and I'm not even fishing this thing. Hey mama. Hello, hello. What are you doing? Are you excited? Yeah. We're already in the boat. Are you taking some pictures? Yeah. Thank you. How was your morning? It was good. All right, we love you very much. Love you, Mama. We'll call you when we get love in, okay? Thank you guys so much. Okay. Bye. All right, y'all. I am so excited for today. It is my first tournament and in the Bass Nation series, so this is going to be lots and lots of fun. And I just want to give a huge shout-out to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much. And we actually have them right here. And let's check out what we have in this box. First thing, Headhunter. Looks pretty good. Um, looks kind of like a bluegill. Then we have these, the tube X's. This look really good. Very pretty color. Then we have the hoax fish. These are really good looking too. These kind of look like a, just like a worm, just a regular worm that you can pitch around with. Um, looks pretty good. Oh, look at this, y'all. This is the Weston. That looks so good. We will definitely be tying that on my rod today. Um, even sounds really good, too. Then we have, last thing, the Zero Gravity Jig. That looks exactly like the color of a shrimp, and um, this is brackish water, so there's definitely some shrimp in here. I think the bass will munch on that, so that's pretty good, too. But that is it. Then we have some hooks, but yeah, that is it for today's MTV box, guys. Please check that wait check that out real quick the the Weston that looks so good like we're definitely going to tie it on I think we can get some fish on that but y'all use my promo code Hillary Sue to save ten dollars on your very first mystery tackle box and yeah 
let's get started. To formally introduce Rafe Sexton here. He so has been fishing with me for a really long time. We had this is our first tournament together, so I think you're really excited, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is our I'm first stoked. Florida Bass Nation tournament. Yep. I'm super excited to get out there and just and get to catch some fish. Absolutely. I'm really for it. He will be fishing the rest of these trails with me, so you guys will be seeing him a lot more. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah. let's, let's go. get going. Let's go catch, let's go catch him. Get it, every day I got it, got enough, so I split it. Everybody solid, worldwide, now I'm trending. I'm the hot topic, touchdown, now I'm winning. How they gonna stop it? We the talk of the town. Look at me now, up in a way, we in a cloud. We set it off every time we get involved. You can let them know if they forget it, cause we got it all day. I want to stay power pulled right here because I have good shots just all up in here. So I don't want to move yet. Oh, dude, I got a stinking... I had a mudfish. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had a mudfish. Freaking stupid things. I know it was mudfish because it was nibbling at first. I was like, this is either a really dink or not a bass at all. Yeah, I just flopped that thing. That was funny. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah. Why did it come out of his mouth? He literally was swimming with it. He was swimming with it. I don't understand why it came out of his mouth. We need Corey Johnson to win today, guys. I'm watching Bass live. If he wins, I go to the Classic Hill. You can really tell the bigger Today could be a special day. Now at this time of year in, in July. If this guy wins, I go to the Bassmasters Classic. 33 pounds and change. Come on, dude. I'm pulling for you, bro. 40th place, you needed 19 and a half. So yeah, guys, so I'm on the bubble right now for the Bassmasters Classic. So the opens, there's four opens right now, and uh, they're at the St. Lawrence River. There you go. There you go. There you go. Watch out. That one's definitely 12 inches. So you know what that means. Hit the button, Scott. Hit the button. Hit the button. Bam! First one goes in the box. Boom! So, that's number one. Good job. We need four more like that one, and then one bigger. So, anyways, we want Corey to win, so come on, dude. One of the Johnson boys can win this. Or really anybody that's not qualified to fish the Classic, which would be which would be great. But uh, So, yeah, I'm going to be watching Bassmaster Live pretty much all day today. All right, y'all, so we are at the next spot. Um, we have not caught much. We have one fish in live well. We should have a limit right now, but we've been missing fish. Um, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, we are gonna go find something else to figure out once we are done hitting all these laydowns. Hopefully we can get a fish here, but yeah, little update for you guys. Let's get to fishing. I swear on everything, if that is stuck, stuck, I'm gonna cry. I might slam my rod like I honestly might break it. Like I literally might break it. I might break my rod. So, let me tell you some good news. You ready for some good news? The guy leading the tournament, Corey Johnson, he'll put me in. The guy in second, destroying him right now. He's got over 26 pounds. He's that I knew. He's not qualified. The guy in third is not qualified. So, first, second, and third right now, if any three of those things go. Come on. Stop. 
Calm down, calm down, calm down. Here you go. I need to sit down for a second. I wonder why they're coming off. off. Cause they're, it's real shallow water and they're just biting. Is the bait too big? No. Are you sure? Because we gotta figure something out. Got one? Ooh. I better get a fish right there. Hello, come off the branch. Oh my gosh, it'll help. Good, 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 good. That's different, right? There's black. We gotta measure him. Yeah. He's 12. You think? Measure him, yeah. The measuring is 12. Alright. This joker stinks. Well, he's not very big, but he's gonna help the cause. Let's we'll see if he goes 12. I hope so. Oh yeah, he's 12. This 12 incher is brought to you in part by Skeeter Boats. Let's get this guy in here. These are the smaller ones. Number two. Okay, we have two fish. That is that is an upgrade. I mean, probably not the ideal weight, but hey, it is a start. We are gonna cull these guys, so let's just keep fishing. It's gonna dry. Like it's not. It's this is like. That's the second fish in yeah. like probably three hours. Yeah. This is like the reality of tournament fishing. This is it's tough. Nutshell. It's really tough. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Hold on, calm down. What's going on, dude? That is crazy. Not, I'm not mad at you. I just can't believe that. I don't know what's going on. Is it a mudfish or something? No. I don't even know what to say, guys. I mean, that's that's um. Just kind of crazy, really. I mean, the amount of fish, and and I've seen it like this in real shallow water. They they don't they they bite it and they hold on to it. They don't really get it in their mouth good. They'll hold on to it sideways. Just kind of a weird deal but Hillary's had a couple fish on like good fish rod doubled over and they pulled off Rafe missed a big one on a frog had another one flipping you know bass 100% bass and it's just uh it's unfortunate I, I don't even know what to do I, she's got a straight shake on I don't know what to tell you to do I'm tempted to tell you to put braid on and just the problem is you're going to get stuck with braid. It'll get real stuck. But this is crazy. Watch out, watch out. Real tight. I did it. I reeled. You about to kill me, man. Did yeah. that hit you? Yeah, right there. Sorry. <laughs> Points. We're just running out of laydown. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Hit it. Oh my gosh, right on the drop. Okay, I'm uh, I, I'm about done. I'm I'm honestly done. Are you sure of the bite? Hundred percent. I literally laid down right on the on it on it on the freaking fish. Sat right on it on its head. Swam off with it. Brought out my hook. I don't get it. I really I honestly don't. Okay. All right, so we pulled up on another point and uh, there's a big tree laid over with the roots in the water and Hillary flipped up and uh, she stuck a big one, but then she lost a big one. So, but that's okay, that's okay. We got plenty more points, plenty more water and we're gonna go fish all of them and catch us some fish.
Yeah, he was very confused. You wouldn't eat the frog, you didn't clean that little needle fish. Get him. Get him. Get him. In the bottom, in the bottom, in the bottom, oh in the bottom, in the bottom, Hillary. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Let's go! Let's go! First fish! First fish! First fish! First fish! Get some of that! 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 Sorry. Um, that, that took a little bit to the heart. I have not caught one single fish all day. I've done nothing but miss fish. This feels good to catch something this, like, it's the dinkiest of dinks, but I mean, it's a fish and it'll definitely help us. That's a 12, that's probably 13 inches actually. But look, that's our third fish. And a little bit is fair, but I decided to pick up the frog and them hooks are sharp, so. Got the fish, so yeah, let's keep fishing. Oh, right there. Blew up on it? Yeah, right there. Hold on. Underneath it? Yeah, right by the freaking stick. sat in a boat all day and watched people fish, right? I mean, I've, I've fished with lots of people. I've never sat there and like watched. I didn't take naps right, today. Right. I watched a little of the Bassmaster stuff because that's important, but I watched every flip y'all made. I watched the boat position. I watched your energy levels, your focus. Like, so I'm gonna grade you on this because, because it doesn't matter what we weigh in, right? This is about learning. This is about taking it to the next level one day. Yeah. So for me, here's what I'm gonna grade you on. On, on your energy levels today, I'm giving you an A. Straight up A. Y'all never, y'all never, there was like, the only reason I get an A plus is because there was about a 15 minute period around that dock that you kind of like went off and do another planet for a yeah. little bit. But that's okay. But that was only for a short minute. But the rest of the day, game on, you two. Great boat control. You can, we straightened it up. We talked about what we can do. But, but your bait placement, like, like everything all in all. I mean, these guys, Hillary's 16, just turned 16. You're 16. 16. So, I mean, guys are running the boat. They're making decisions. So, I think it's overall an A. I'm an A. Straight up A. Y'all did great. I don't care what the fish. That doesn't bother me. We lost a few fish, or y'all lost a few fish. That definitely would have made a huge difference today. But we've yeah. got tomorrow. So, yep. let's take what we've learned today and apply it for tomorrow. Let's make some adjustments. That's that's we gotta we gotta we gotta think about where we're gonna fish tomorrow. All these different things y'all gotta man, figure out in your head. So yep. let's go weigh these things in. Good job, Hillary. I'm so proud of you. Awesome job, Ray. Next up, Okeechobee Brombos. We got a three, bass, a three bass limit, Rafe Sexton and Hillary Martin. Three is better than zero today. 4.82 pounds, that'll get you guys started, get you some points. Good to see you two guys put it together, make it all work, that's what it's about. Thank you guys so much. Anything you want to say, Rafe? I mean... Yeah, so Hillary, Hillary's a heck of a fisherman. I mean, she she really she really puts it out, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be something new tomorrow. Today we had to kind of fish and learn. It's a learning experience every day, and that's what it's about, tournament angling. So we're learning and we're gonna progress and move on. Absolutely, man. Always a pleasure. Hillary, great to have you here again and, and, and to be able to fish all of these, and I hope you do, and it's building your career and stuff like that, and you're, you got a good fan base, good sponsor base. What would it mean for you to make a run like this, state championship, and get to the Nationals this year with Ray? Oh, I would be excited for that. That would be an absolute goal of mine. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm really excited for that. All right. Well, don't. It's okay if you run the front of the boat and tell them to get to the back, all right? Yes. I know it anyways, but hey, thank you so much for fishing with us, absolutely, as always, good team, I appreciate you guys, looking for good things out of you guys this year, absolutely. Alright y'all, that is a wrap for day one, it is, it was tough guys, it was tough, we, we found something yesterday, but you know, 
it was a little, it, we were a little bent out today because it was totally opposite yeah. from yesterday. We found an outgoing tide yesterday and now we kind of came in on an ingoing tide. It was kind of messed us up a little bit, but what do you have to say? Tomorrow's a new day. Yep. Every day in tournament fishing is something new. True. And all we got to do tomorrow is go fish. Absolutely. We have fun, have fun. And we learn from what we did yesterday. Yep. Right. I totally agree. Just learn from what we did uh, today, and uh, I hopefully we can get on some fish tomorrow. Yeah. You know, we found a pattern, so I'm hoping that we can get better and uh, actually hook some fish. So let's go. Yeah. Dude, I'm digging this whole captain thing because I don't have to do anything. I can just sit here and Eat relax. Eat and strawberries. Yes, and yeah. raspberries, and, and y'all put the boat on the trailer. Yeah. You got it all strapped down. You get to watch Bass and, Live. Uh, it's, it's a, yes. I got, yes, I have something to share. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. So, if we're, we're on the bubble for the Bassmasters Classic, and if, if one angler wins an open that is already pre-qualified or not able to fish the Classic, then I'm in. And guess what just happened? Corey Johnson just won the last tournament in the St. Lawrence with 27 pounds, and I'm in the Bassmasters Classic huh? 2022, guys. Yes. No way. Yeah. Yep. You're messing with me. I'm not me. messing I with you. I swear you are. I'm not. I'm not messing with Are you kidding I'm me? I'm serious. Serious? Seriously. You're in the classic. Bassmaster Classic. Hey, Cord, Dream he, coming true. Like, he, that's the guy that Dream's you want. Dream's true. Dream came true. Tell me you're kidding. No. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Bass. Does mom know yet? I just told her. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Get out of here. What the heck? Corey Johnson, I thank you so much. Corey. Yeah, you know, he did. He busted 27 pounds. He You're awesome, Corey. Yeah, Corey. Who shout out to Corey? Go follow him. <laughs> yeah. Go dad. Oh, and Corey. <laughs> Sorry. And Corey. Woo! <laughs> that was good. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Good. Hey, we worked hard. We worked hard. We got ourselves in a, in a predicament in the last two tournaments, but we were right on the bubble. And it worked out, so I get to fish my first Bassmasters Classic, guys. And so, uh, Road to the Classic, we did it. 2022. Yeah. So, hey, what should we buy Corey? Well, I got to buy Corey, like, some beer. You owe Corey, like, a lot of beer. Four cases of beer. Like, as much as he wants. As much as get him a truck of beer. A free spree of beer for the rest of his life. Yeah. Might be something like that. That's if you win the Classic, though. Yeah. I'm what kidding. if I do one? Yeah, that'd if be crazy. If you win it, you got you to give him free beer for life. Free beer for life for Corey. Free beer for life for Corey. Corey Johnson. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Corey Johnson. Corey, Corey Johnson. Okay. So check these out. We got Ooh. a couple buzz baits here. Just something a little bit different. You know. Black buzz baits, guys. Let's switch it up. And a couple packs of worms. Just, just some simple, super simple stuff. Just to... We got a good word in on the black buzz baits, so we decided to get yeah. some. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just got back from dinner. It was bomb. I loved it. Really I had good. salmon. You had what? Uh, dolphin. Mine, it was mine. good. Yeah, oh really yeah. Good. Fish is A1. Love it. Um, but guys, we are rigging up for tomorrow's brand new tournament. First tournament of the fall trail. Um, just to be clear on things, guys, the winner of today was what? 29 pounds? 29 pounds. That's insane. Um, but granted, this guy, the guy that won it, fishes literally every day of the week on, on this lake. So the second place came in like 15 yeah, pounds. 15 it was pounds, half crazy. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. We, we kind of had a tough day. Everybody yeah. kind of had a tough but day. But that's okay. Yeah. Because tomorrow. Brand new day. Clean slate. Yep. Everybody starts from new zero. New tournament. Exactly. Fall trail. First time of the fall trail. That's Today right. was the north trail. So, uh, yeah. I'm honestly excited. We're going to rig up these uh, buzz baits real quick and uh, a few more things because we have a yeah. whole new game plan for tomorrow. Because, yeah, we, we definitely needed one. We new mindset, needed one. new game plan. Yep. New mindset, new game plan. So, All right, let's, let's get, get rigging. rigging. today so we have a lot later flight and we'll probably be in around what was it 350 yeah 350 is 350 so almost four o'clock um so we'll definitely have a little bit more time to kind of like i think we'll, we'll do better doing like the yeah. later flight yeah so hopefully there's a new tide swing today yep tide's a little bit different pushbacks more yep so i'm thinking that we're gonna have a better shot at catching some fish that's relating later on, to bait yeah. and tide. day two just dropped in the water first tournament of the fall trail um Let's get ready. We're pulling rods out. 
and getting lights plugged in and getting ready to blast off. I guess so uh, we're getting ready to blast off, boat 128, and you know, we're just gonna buckle down. We've got some different lures, and I think, you know, Rafe and, and Hillary both thought, like the fish are still there. There's an opportunity to catch a big bag, but we've gotta change it up a little bit. So buzz bait, I guess is something y'all worked up. Uh, frog a little bit more, you did get a bite on a frog. So I think I think I think we'll just be a little more dialed in on. on you know, we still areas. do get some bites on the pitching, even though we didn't land them. We need to figure out a way to land them. Right. So just gotta gotta think it through. It could be totally different today. Yeah. Yeah, it's a new day. It really, yeah, it really. Second day. I mean, it's it looks like there's gonna be more sun today, and even if there's not. It's the second day of maybe some clouds, and these fish just should bite. They were biting weird yesterday. So tide, the tide swing is going to fix itself. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good player. Check out what we're fishing, guys. Look at all this structure. This is the wood that we fish, and it is what we like to call sticky. So this bait. And this line, this weight, it just it got, likes to get wedged in that wood. And uh, it's a little tough because we get hung up quite a lot. So that was our problem yesterday, a little bit of our problem yesterday. So, but yeah, let's, let's get to fishing. Clear, I'd be able to see what's up in there, but I just can't. Holy crap! Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Get him, get him, get him. <sighs> <laughs> you don't. Lucky. In the boat! 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 Good gosh! Good gosh! Ooh. I sent that thing in flight mode. <laughs> Scared. Look how bad. <laughs> sent that thing in high oh. flight mode. You double hooked it. Double hooked it. Oh, that scared the mess out of me, dude. <laughs> First fish. Okay. Who's that one? Oh. What the heck, dude? I don't know. Was it a bass? It also looked kind of like a mudfish. I'm not yeah, it like flopped it. funny. It was. It kind of rolled. Started spinning. Okay, well, that was probably a mud fish then. All right, that was better. I hooked the fish, guys. Dude, <laughs> gotta get him in the boat next time. Dude, I wrecked that guy. Yeah. I wrecked him. You shrecked him. Shrecked him. I mean, he went flying. You shrecked him over there. He went flying him into stinking and then he's back Pluto. in the boat. Yeah. It was a shh, shh, shh. He went, <laughs> I know, I couldn't get him in the boat. <laughs> Go ahead and pitch these right here, too. Yeah. Net, 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 net. Right here. Oh. Yep. Nice. Nice. All right. A lot better fish. Yes. Much. Better. Much better. Much better. He got it. Like I'm talking about. Yeah. He got it. Hammered it. Nice, a dude. Pretty one. Yeah, it's very Super pretty. pretty one. Solid fish, solid fish. All right. Let's stick him in the lab. Well. Let's box that one up. Awesome. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. Go with your buddies. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. We got two. Two. Finally. Three to go. Three to go. Got a limit. Touches. He touches. He does. All right. 
three fish, uh, barely made 12 inches, but you know. Water. He came up top water. Oh, gosh. Awesome. Let's go. Number four. Let's go. Oh, wow. Guys, I don't know what happened to that fish, but he was aggressive. I was reeling out of that spot because I was done with that. I did my little pitch and I was reeling. I saw him come top water. I mean, it's nothing big, but hey, four fish. I'm happy about it. Right. I am not well, we mad. Got 50 we got 50. Yeah, 50 minutes. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Four fish. Okay. I think he's 12. No, oh, he's definitely yeah. 12. Hold him. All right, guys, we got five. number five. <laughs> we are limited out, last minute. Let's check the time, hold on. We gotta hurry though. 323. Good, good job, good job. Good job, Rafe. High, high five, high five. <laughs> we need one more, come on. All right, we got a few minutes left. Job, Hill. Stay in here. That's what I'm Pull that about. fish. Let's go. Pull that 12 incher out. Stick this guy in there. Okay. Is that our coal? Watch this, guys. First coal of the season. Not much, but it's good stuff. All right, guys. So uh, they finished off the limit. I actually called one, that small one, which was which was awesome. So again, super proud of, of both of their abilities you know we're not we're not blowing this tournament out when we came up here we didn't really have any idea what was going on and it's a very tough time of the year to fish around the st john's but i'm going to tell you boat control their 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 focus like i'm serious guys i mean they, hillary you did good rafe you did really good i mean it's like their focus is that is so important like their consistency right i mean they've been casting putting the bait where it needs to be boat control has been really good uh, the decision making has been good so like I said, I mean, it was like yesterday. I can't complain. I mean, that's like a they're they're doing really well. So we get around some fish. Um, one of these tournaments coming up, they're gonna catch. Them. I need to contain myself. I like really need to contain myself. <laughs> I need to take a breather. That was a lot in the last like literal probably what five minutes. Five like we just minutes. like that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. No doubt. So I mean basically five minutes everything changes. That's the aspect of a tournament. Like that tournament is tournament fishing, fishing right there. Like that was that is tournament that's fishing exactly right there. What it is. 
your day, your entire day can be whole, totally flipped around. And the, like that's why everything counts, and every second, exactly. everything. Never and that's quit. exactly why you fish hard until the end. Until the end. So you did good. That was so cool to watch that last like 15 minutes of the day. Yeah, you that know, was. We're stuck on, stuck on three. Like I said, the last 30 minutes, we're stuck on three. We're done the last 30 minutes, and then boom, we catch. She catches the fourth one. Yep. And then, then Ray finishes off the limit with a chatterbait, and then Hillary throws back in this like swamp hole, like over the pads. And it goes, was like literally almost spooled my reel. I cast yeah. like that's how far. And, and I'll see her go. Oh, oh. I had to fight the thing through the pads. I had to drive the boat in there to get it. It was crazy. It was. Cool. It was crazy for sure. All Good right, stuff. let's go get. We gotta go get a bag. Okay. All right, guys. So today was really a grind. Me and Hillary fished from early this morning yep. all the way to the dead minute end. So five minutes before, we really only had four fish in the live well, and one was actually really small. So really small, like it was cutting it close. Like we 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 were a little worried about that guy. Yeah, he was like scrubbing line burner, line he was burner basically. On it, on um, it. So. so I picked up a chatterbait. Yep. And I ended up catching a fish on a chatterbait, a decent fish. Yeah. And then Hillary came behind me and caught one that the cold out. The six one cold out the little exactly. thinker. So, so I'm just giving all glory to God because that last minute was insane. I mean, that yeah. like unheard of. That was. There was a lot happening. That, I mean, catching, it was calling. Crazy. Scott, I think Scott was dancing. I don't. I don't. I know. don't even know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. Your back holder this time. This time, Dad's back holder. Bag boy. Bag boy. Bag boy. I'm usually bag girl, but he's he's bag boy. huge today but hey five bass limit we learned from yesterday's mistakes we had lots of fun yeah. I mean that last yeah. minute was was something special I mean seriously that was that was all glory to God on that that was that was really cool um, but yeah we learned from our mistakes yesterday I feel like we did a little bit better today definitely could still improve like everybody yeah. but yeah let's go weigh these fish in. Next up, Okeechobee Brahmas. They're bringing a five bass limit today. Hillary Sue Martin and Rafe Sexton. Uh oh, come on up here. There we go. A little bit better today. That's all it is. It's fishing. And some good valuable points, Hillary. 8.84 pounds right there for Sexton and Martin. Reach in there and grab a couple of those today. Better day today. Did we figure something out a little bit later yesterday, or did we apply something new today? We applied something new today. Um, yesterday was a little tough, but we learned from our mistakes yesterday, and we kind of got a little bit better today. Absolutely. I definitely want to say a big thanks to Guggen Bates because that new punch, we whacked him today on that. And, of course, my dad, um, my mom, everybody supported me at home, and, yeah. And the Lord, of course, the Lord. Absolutely, got to thank Jesus. Absolutely. So I know you're looking. And Rafe, 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 Rafe yeah. My, my partner. Yes, my partner, Rafe. Okay, well, Rafe, come over here. Uh, key bait this week. Um, key bait, did you fish uh, inshore, outshore, deeper, what I mean, offshore? Just what did you fish with? I mean, I know you fished with some good baits, but what about inshore or up uh, close to the bank? You know, Glenn, I've, been, I've really been waiting for you to ask me this question for a long time. I threw a bubblegum trick worm, <laughs> wacky rig on a Carolina rig. Amen. <laughs> That, I don't think that Guggen Bates makes a bubblegum because that's not true. So get off the stage. All right. Hey, thank you so much. But hey, I do like Guggen Bates. So uh, yeah. if he's not very good at telling the truth, you might need to share Jesus with him. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. I know you're looking forward to us. Uh, Harris Chain, we're not going to look past that. Bainbridge is a great tournament as well. North end of Okeechobee, but definitely February, closed in Florida. Absolutely. Backyard, slam and jam on right there. Hillary Sue Martin and Rafe Sexton. Love you guys. I missed you, bro. I missed, I said, oh, and my partner. I, I was thinking of everybody else. Of course, you're a given. Yeah. You're a given. Uh, Rafe's a given, guys. Rafe's a given to be thankful for. I'm just thrown in there. It, it doesn't matter. Buddy. I'm just my best buddy. All right. Nice. All right. Good job, dude. That, oh, wait. Turkey. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> turkey. That was good. Y'all, we just got done weighing in. And I wanted to say a huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, these baits are flipped upside down. These baits are awesome, guys. I love these specifically because you get a new one each month. And they're just full of quality baits. I just love them. You guys get to learn tons of new stuff. I learn tons of new stuff. 
each each box I get. So uh, thank you so much, Mr. Tackle Box, for sponsoring. Um, if you guys want your very own MTV box, use my promo code Hillary Sue on the Mr. Tackle Box website and get your own for Here, ten. Let me see the box. Let me see the box. What? Let me see the box. Okay. Let me see the box. Ooh. Ooh. No, for real. For real, guys. For real. For real. Look at that. Look, would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? that would you just look at that? Would Hold you just on. look at look, like look at that? Like, like for real. That's what she's talking. That's what she's trying to say. That's what, that's what she's trying to say. That's for real. Boom! Yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, MTV. Love y'all. Alright, guys, that is a wrap for the two-day video. The two-day video. We had lots of fun. Granted, we did not do great the first day. Or really the second day, but we figured something out. And I'm really just happy that we, we learned from our mistakes the first day. We did. And uh, we, we switched it up a little bit, and we finally actually got on some fish. Nook punch. <laughs> yeah. Nook punch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, we did good the second day. A lot better. And I'm, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'm thankful for you. Very thankful, thankful for, you. for Scott. Oh, yes, man. For, my, for my captain. I wasn't sure how I was going to dig this whole sit in the boat and not fish all day thing. Yeah. But I'm on, honestly, I enjoyed it. I was, it was awesome to be able to give back, not only to you guys, but to the other kids here in this mm -hmm. event and meet everybody. Absolutely. It was really awesome. I actually want to do another one. I can't wait. So, for sure. I'm uh, excited. You got, you got a captain for life, man. Yeah. <laughs> captain for life. Captain for life. Be ready for more videos, guys. We have the whole season to go. And uh, Rafe, got anything to say? Man, uh, all I got to say is that this tournament fishing, it's, it's really a learning curve. Absolutely. And we're going to learn and progress in our career and our passion as we go. And I'm super excited in two, three weeks to get back out here on the water and just go Absolutely. out again already. And we yep. just ended. Yep. Yeah. So y'all be ready for the next one. Who's closing it out? Who's closing it out? Here, bring it, it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it in, bring it in. Hey, you close it out. You know how to do it. 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 Here we go. Peace. Peace.